Many people start their day with different things on their mind, like what to wear, check their social media, work, and how much money they can make. Not putting God first and suddenly, in a moment, they will die and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. This is why you need the midnight prayer. A blessed good morning to all of you. May the Spirit of God bless your night. We are going to have our midnight prayer. But before, I want you to prepare a glass of water. And I want you also to see this Bible verse. Look what the Lord Jesus, look what the Bible says better. David, he said in the book of Psalm chapter 27. He says here, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, waiting on the Lord, be of good courage. He shall strengthen your heart, wait, I say, on the Lord. You see first, as you can continue to see the Bible verse, First of all, David, he said, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. First, he said that he was one step to giving up. He was one step to turning back. But he decided to put his trust in God. He decided to put his eyes, he decided to focus in God. And after that, God did not disappoint him. In a way that he left to us this guidance, this direction, wait on the Lord. Another word, put your trust on God. When David he said to wait on the Lord, it doesn't mean that you are going to fold your arms and you are not going to do anything. No. But this wait on the Lord, it's meaning put your trust in Him. Believe that He will help you. Believe that He will change the situation. Believe that He will transform your family member. Believe that you are crying today, but tomorrow you are going to smile. So friend, when you put your trust in God, your situation, your problem can be unbearable. It seems like that it is the end of your life. Let me say here, maybe you are going through a family problem. Perhaps your child, he changed his mind. He left the house. Perhaps you just find out that you have a son involved in drugs, smoking, doing bad things. Maybe your husband, he left the house. You find out that he has he have been, you know, treat you bad with he have an unfair, he have a relationship with another person. It seems like your whole world, your whole life is falling apart. However, if you put your trust in God, if you believe in Him, if you keep your eyes on Him, ah, my friend, He will not disappoint you. And the first step that proves that you trust in Him is when you surrender your life to him. We are going now for this short clip and we are going to prepare ourselves for the moment of prayer. And through the prayer, you will be able to call upon him, surrender your life to him and renew your confidence, your trust in God. Then friend, get yourself ready because now is the moment of prayer. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain.
Our Lord and our Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, the reality is that, Lord, there are many people feeling desperate. There are many people feeling lost. Some people, they don't know what else to do. There are people, my God, that they reach the point to say, I cannot take it anymore. Some of them, they believe in you. They have the Bible. They have so many Psalms. They have been reading so many Psalms. However, their situation remains the same. And I ask you, Lord, set this person free. Deliver this person, my Lord, in front of these evil thoughts, these suicidal thoughts. Set this person free from this depression. Oh, my God, do for this man what nobody else can do. Do for this family. Bring a total change. I know that there are mothers praying together with me in tears. Yes, the tears is falling from their eyes, Lord, because what she has been seen in the life of her son, she cannot take it anymore. I know that there are people that they are one step to lose the marriage. The husband changed his mind. Please, Lord, bring a total transformation. Restore the marriage. Restore the family. Bring happiness back. Bring peace, Lord, to this family. Oh, my Lord, I ask you, set this person free from this infection, from this bleeding problem, from this back pain, from this migraine headache. My Lord, set this person free from this stress and help them to find a new life. My Lord, we surrender our lives into your mind and hands. I ask you, my Lord, for you to bless Trinidad and Tobago, transform our country, heal our country, heal our nation, consecrate and bless our glass with water for when we drink, Lord. Let this water to be your power inside of us. And those who believe, say, I believe, say, Amen. Do you believe, friend? You may drink now from your water and be blessed in the name. Very well. I do believe that God, He heard our prayer. And whatever you are, receive God's light. Receive God's power. Don't fear because God, He is with you. Okay? If you'd like to speak to a pastor, we are going to be available for you. Number four is Salt Care, right here in Port of Spain. Okay? And this Friday, we are going to have this powerful event. Why can't I sleep at night? Well, friend, if you cannot sleep well, you must be together with us because from this day forward, you are going to sleep like a baby. Okay? May the Spirit of the Living God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful night. Tomorrow again here in our midnight prayer. God bless you. A two-year study by a team from the Tokyo Medical University. From the people that do not get a good night's sleep at twice is likely to suffer from depression. There may be several causes of insomnia such as, psychological health problems such as stress, anxiety, depression, grief or alcoholism. Physical health problems such as pain, asthma or heart disease, taking medication, environmental factors such as noise or being too hot or cold or even lifestyle habits such as not having a regular sleep routine eating late at night using stimulants such as nicotine or drinking excessive amounts of alcohol experiencing insomnia may cause problems during the day such as tiredness difficulty concentrating and the inability to feel refreshed and rested in addition a survey by the University of Glasgow found that people suffering from sleep problems reported having relationship difficulties, less productive work, low mood and reduced energy level. Join us! 26th of February National Day Against Sleepless Nights at number 40 South Key Port of Spain or any other universal church near you.